This is the third in a three-part series of videos looking at finding the x-intercepts of a quadratic uh, function. We've already looked at two special methods, that is the square root method and the, uh, factoring, and the, the factoring method. Neither of the previous methods could be used universally. They only applied to special quadratic equations. The completing the square method works in all cases. To understand this method, we first need to look at what happens when you, when you square a binomial. Here I've just picked a beta as the arbitrary value. So if we look at x plus beta squared, that means x plus beta times x plus beta, and then you FOIL or whatever you call it to use a distributive law to... Uh, to multiply this out and you get this particular result. So x plus beta squared is x squared plus 2 beta x plus beta squared. We're going to refer to that as we go along here. We'll do this in general terms. When we're trying to solve ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The idea is to look at this, to, to rearrange this so that we've got something like an x squared plus 2 beta x and then find the right amount to be able to add on so that this becomes a perfect square. If we had x plus beta quantity squared on the left hand side then we could square, bo square root both sides uh, and be able to solve for x. That's the general strategy here. So begin by subtracting c from both sides. Now this expression is looking more like that x squared plus 2 beta x, but we still have an a, so let's divide both sides by a. Now the expression on the left-hand side looks like the first part of this. It's an x squared plus something times x. Now what we're going to choose is to have that b over a be equal to 2 beta so that this does really look like the first part of this. And then we'll add a beta squared to both sides so that, we, so that on the left hand side we have this amount. So if, beta over, if b over a happens to be 2 beta, then beta has got to be b over 2a, and so we square that and add that to both sides of the equation. At that point, this expression on the left-hand side is an x squared plus 2 beta x plus beta squared. So it will factor as x plus beta, and remember that our beta was really b over 2a. So that left-hand side factors as a perfect square. It is x plus beta over 2a quantity squared. Go ahead and multiply that out and verify that it really is this expression. Slide up a little bit to give more room. So let's do a little bit of housekeeping here. On the right hand side let's get a common denominator and then we'll be able to, uh, so we have to multiply this top and bottom by, by 4a. Now we've got the common denominator, we'll be able to subtract those two fractions. Now if you watched a previous video, we noticed that that uh, b squared minus 4ac is a very special thing. It's called the discriminant. The, the sign of that, whether it's positive, negative, or zero, tells us how many real roots there are to this quadratic equation. At this point, let's, take this, uh, let's undo this square. So we'll need to look at the plus or minus square root of the right-hand side. Now it's going to be easy to solve for x now because I'll just subtract a minus b over 2a from both sides. Let's slide up a little bit so we've got room. So there's what x is. We could do some cosmetic things here, maybe clean up this uh, radical and get a common denominator and a few things. But, but there, that's the completing the square uh, strategy for solving for x. And notice that some interesting things happen. Depending on what's inside of this square root, if the thing that's inside of that square root is 0, for example, that would mean that b squared minus 4ac is 0. If that, if that ended up being 0, there would be only one answer. 
if that uh, thing, if this whole thing inside is positive, then uh, then there's going to be two answers, a minus b over 2a, the plus answer and the minus answer, because the square root of a positive number is a, a real number. But if that part inside is negative, then then uh, there's not going to be a, a, a real number as a square root, so there's going to be no real roots uh, to this thing. Now notice that the bottom is always positive, so the sign of this thing inside is completely determined by that b squared minus 4ac. That leaves us with an algebraic explanation of the discriminant, where earlier in a previous video we looked at the uh, at a geometric uh, explanation of how the discriminant tells how many uh, x-intercepts there are. The quadratic formula states the following fact, that if ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then x will be equal to a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, that you, you probably need to memorize that statement, that if this is true, then this is true. And uh, the proof of that is really completing the square. This expression is just an algebraic simplification of this expression. We'll look at examples of using the quadratic formula in, a, in another video. But for now... That's the end of part three of a three-part series looking at the x-intercepts of a quadratic function. The x-intercepts are also called the zeros of the quadratic equation or the roots of the quadratic equation. Okay, see you in the next video.